it's your boy Chucky, and I represent the Dirty Dutch. Talk to me. What's up, Dancing Astronaut? This is Skyler. Uh, I'm here with the one and only DJ Chucky, all the way from the Netherlands, coming here. We're in South Beach, Miami, at the Fontana Blue. How yep. you doing? Great, man. Great, man. Just enjoying the sun, the music, the women. It's the all women. gravy. What's going on for you in 2011? What's new? What's exciting? Uh, what's exciting is that um, I'm at uh, the stage of kind of finishing my album. It's almost done. Um, hard working, but it's almost done. So just a couple of bits and pieces and then, you know, it's ready to go. Uh, what's been going on as well, touring, I have a Chucky tour coming up in the States. That's gonna be around June. And then I'm doing an Australia tour, I'm doing the Greenfields Festival tour. And summertime is coming and I got um, I got a chance to share, uh, share the stage with Eric Morello this summer in uh, Ibiza. Gotta ask you, your new track, Hollywood, yeah. It's huge right now. What inspired you to make a Michael Jackson remix? Was that something you were approached to do or is that your own inspiration? No, the, the, the thing that happened, right? I was on vacation in Aruba or Curaçao. This is January and they just, the label just called me like, yo, we're working on the new Michael Jackson single. Do you want to do the remix? And I kind of dropped my phone in the first place. And then I picked it, I'm like, you what? <laughs> like you want to remix Michael Jackson? I'm like, okay, how many people are going to remix Michael Jackson? And they were like, you know what, you're the only one doing it. So I was quite happy, you know. And it was it was kind of scary because you just don't do that, you know. Michael Jackson vocals is not something you touch. Because the, the, the funniest part is the remix had to go through the whole Jackson committee, you know. So probably Papa Jackson had to approve it as well, I don't know. But it was really scary for me because it's, one of the, it's the king of pop, come on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great. Um, okay, so what do you think the major difference between Dutch DJs and the rest of the DJ scene is? Uh, well, you know, Holland is a small country, you know, and there's a lot of talent coming from Holland. And the whole thing is that competition is like really big over there. So every average DJ knows what the standard is. So whenever you're up and coming, you know, okay, I got to do this at least. This is how good I got to be. So. Whenever you see a Dutch DJ, even if you don't know him, nine out of the ten times they they can rock a dance floor worldwide because they just have this background of, you know, a uh, high level of DJing. So what do you think, uh, the like, what sets apart the little guy from, you know, the international superstar then? Well, the, the, the thing is, I think this, the one thing they do have in common is that the fact that also the little guy is also really great already. He just don't have the name, but he's also really great already. And that's 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 quite funny to see, you know, like a lot of Dutch DJs, when they get their international break breakthrough, they just go for it and do it because they already have the experience for it, you know? And we gotta ask you, Dirty Dutch, is that a, a term that you coined? Yep, and I, um, I came up with the name Dirty Dutch in 2003. What happened is um, I got bored of all the parties so I was like, you know what, I want to do my own night with my own entertainment, with my own DJs, my own everything. And I want to, you know, do it the way I want it, the whole set, as far as the setting and everything. So I kind of combined, um, I took like this Dutch street culture as an example and kind of combined um, fashion with music and gave it a name, Dirty Dutch. Whenever I released Let the Bass Kick, and this was like, the, I believe it was one of the first records of that kind and people kind of attach the name to that sound. 2011, who's going to be the big breakthrough DJ? Um, I mean, Avicii kind of broke through already, but I think like, like he's going to be huge, 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 huge. Bigger than, bigger than we already think he is, you know? Okay, so DJs are always running around the world, and it seems like wherever they go, it's their vacation, you know? They're, uh, they're out there, they're partying, they're having a good time. Rockstar lifestyle, you know it, I'm sure you do. Yeah. So, um, my, when I mean, my room looks like, the, you know, the hangover part two or something. 
<laughs> uh, I hope there's not a Bengal tiger in there. But. Uh, yeah, I just sent him away, you know. It's all good. <laughs> so, when Chucky's on vacation, what do you like to do? Listen to music. Listen to music? Listen to music on the beach, you know, white sand, palm trees, you know, bl a nice blue ocean, and just listen to music. Sit back, relax, and listen to music. So, Miami. Yes, yes. You know what? Miami is so cool, right? I think yeah. I, the other day I woke up and I'm like, you know what? I think I could live in Miami. I, I really think I could live in Miami. I'm, and I'm not that kind of guy that, you know, say those kind of things because I'm really hard with those kind of stuff. But Miami kind of does the trick for me, I think. You know, I don't want to take this time to really thank Dancing Astronaut for all the support they've been giving me. Show them love to the Dirty Dutch. I love you guys. Keep your hands up.